Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're going to replace a condenser fan motor. So here's the new fan motor. This is a multi-speed motor and the one we're replacing I believe is only one speed. Let's get started. We shut off the thermostat and we shut off the disconnect and also the breaker. Safety first, you're going to want to check the incoming power. We have nothing, so now we know that we're safe to begin our work. Just off the bat, the motor they gave me is much larger. Hopefully we can make this fit. Alright, so this is a 208 single phase motor. We have two legs going on one on each pole of this contactor and one goes into your capacitor so I'm going to start by disconnecting the wires all right our three wires are now disconnected we're going to start unmounting this setup right here and it looks like I could just take off these screws and pull this whole assembly out and rebuild it grab this Malco bit this thing is absolutely amazing. It has a 5 16th and quarter inch. Just flip it around. You're ready to roll. So if we look inside here, we have an Allen screw. We can disconnect that and that will separate your blower wheel from your shaft and I got it in from that angle and if you also look inside you're gonna see this part right there it's like notched out and you could stick in a long allen key from this side as well there's really not too much to sand down here but you're also gonna want to take some sandpaper and sand down the remaining visible part of the shaft so this comes apart easily Going with the long Allen key, and we have freed it up. All right, our new motor is much larger than our original motor, as well as our bracket. But it looks like our bracket adds up, and our shaft is not too long, so I won't have to cut it or anything. Let's see what happens. This should fit, and then we'll have to rewire it. Next, we have four bolts. Take those apart. And this motor is ready to come right out. shaft and the blade wasn't so easy to pull apart I would use this puller right here I will leave a link in the description to all products used and as well not used that could have been used in this video before we put in the new motor I'm just gonna sand down this shaft all right so we're nicely sanded down I'm gonna slip this in through try to slip it through the shaft Oh my god, this just fit. <laughs> this just fit. Alright. That's what's up. Alright, so I got this centered. I'm just gonna snug it down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust our fan blade. See if we're good. Next, we're gonna take our blade and balance it between this edge and this edge and lock down our screw. 
thing to point out is that this locking screw should be on the flat side of the shaft. Alright, so I locked down my shaft, I balanced this out. Next we're going to spin the blade, make sure we're not hitting anything. It's looking good to me. Alright, let's slide this thing in. little lip there you want to catch right there all right you want me to check this one next compressors disconnected wires hanging no motor in here at all like come on <laughs> let's zip this bad boy in So I snapped a picture of the wiring diagram and the wire diagram is always going to be on the motor itself. So our white and brown and our brown, and this goes to our capacitor. This fully green wire is always going to be our ground and we have four more wires. So let's see our white and medium, which is blue, is going to be our line. And this is probably all we're going to use because these are other two speeds. And the only thing that was used here was a single speed motor. So looks like we're going to connect these two to our contactor. This to for our capacitor, which is, whoops, <laughs> five microfarads. And uh, let's see what's going on here. The other capacitor was going into this dual capacitor. So I capped off these two ends. I'm also going to tape it up. So this is what we're going to use for our line. And I got two Tuttleless connectors. We're going to put that on and attach it to our contactor. All right, so we're going to line on the low side of the contactor. And here's our two leads for our capacitor. And it's pretty much just going to be like this. Definitely going to want to secure this so we don't have any sparks I got rid of this old capacitor so for the old one it came into here and then it got wired into the dual capacitor whatever I have it just like this it's set up just like that I taped off the edges before I secure it I just want to give it a quick test bump so we're gonna turn on the power and just pushing the contactor by hand real quick. I just want to see if this thing starts. And uh, then we can nearly put everything back together. All right, the breaker's on. This switch is backwards, so now that's on. Careful when doing this. All right, we got a fan motor. That is what I'm talking about. You also want to make sure you connect your ground. And there's a terminal right here. That's the wall, labeled as ground. And you should always ground your circuits. All right, so I made everything nice and neat. Here, this hard start kit. I actually mounted a screw so it actually stands instead of just laying here. These wires, this cover wouldn't be able to close, I believe. This is just hanging out here. I'm about to redo that real quick. That is so much better. All the connections are right in here. Everything is nice and neat. And that is exactly what separates you as a technician. Always do your best, drive for the best, and always do the best for the customer. So now, we're just going to close all this up, test the unit, check the pressures, supply and return temperatures, make sure everything's okay, but that's pretty much it. That is how you change a fan blower. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I post new videos every week, and I'll catch you all next time.